Streaming now, this is the Wood TV Live Desk. And good afternoon, everyone. Phil Panarski here with the Wood TV Live Desk. Hope you're all having a great start to your Friday. Spring break is finally upon us. We've done a couple of talkbacks here on the Live Desk over the past few weeks about it but more so if you're planning on leaving West Michigan. So today, why not talk about all the great things you can do if you do stay at home? And there is absolutely no one better to talk to about it than our very own Miranda, who is joining us today to talk about her 2023 Spring Break Guide. Miranda, thank you so much for being here today. Phil, thanks for having me. And you know, there's always that feeling from people where it's like everybody's going somewhere for spring break, but I'm staying home. Mm -hmm. And I'm here to say, don't worry, we've got you covered. I mean, West Michigan and Southwest Michigan are great places to staycation and to just build beautiful memories with your family. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Mm -hmm. Yes, no, and that was sort of the interesting aspect to this that I really found was just how many things there were to do in West Michigan over the next couple of weeks. Over a hundred different activities are on that guide and I want to remind everybody that if you haven't checked it out yet I highly encourage you to do it. It is over on our website woodtv.com. If you're watching us on Facebook you can find a link to that over in the description box and in the comment section. But Miranda, first off, all of these different activities, was that, was that sort of the goal to try and hit that triple digit mark? Well, you know, I always like to give myself a little challenge, <laughs> but once you start making lists, um, and you know, over the years that I've had the opportunity to travel around and see cool places, I always think, oh, I wanna make sure families know this is out here, or people gotta check this new exhibit out, or if you've got kids who love to run, did you know there are all these nature centers? So I, I really went back and thought, what are some of those places I wanna make sure people consider this spring break? So as we were laying them out, I'm like, we're getting close to 100. And I'm like, let's do it. We can find it. So we do have over 100 ideas. And, you know, really wanting to keep free and affordable in the forefront. Um, because, you know, if you are home, you might want to do three or four different kinds of things. And we want you to have a great spring break without ba breaking the bank. So you're going to find things that you can say, oh, we can just head to this park and look at huge dinosaurs if we want. And it's free. Or we'll spend a little bit and this will be our splurge day. So we've got those kinds of ideas available for you. Mm -hmm. And just all those different uh, activities, events, everything going on across West Michigan. Uh, what are some of these things that people can expect to see on the guide? I know that uh, you've been on uh, some of our newscasts. You've been on Miranda Where You Live, just talking about it. The special aired earlier this afternoon, and it is also be airing a little bit later as well. So what are just some of the things on this list that people can expect? Well, there are some of the unexpected, and those are the ones I really mm -hmm. love. So um, recently, I've been seeing several families posting that they're over on the east side of the state in Midland at the Dow Gardens. And I was like, what's that all about? So I check it out, and they have a really cool ropes course that kids can do, beautiful gardens to explore. So if you're meeting with family who might be on the east side of the state, and you're saying, well, what are we going to do this time? I'd say head up to Mount Pleasant and check out the Dow Gardens, or take a little road trip. It's about two and a half hours away, so that's a good one. Uh, maybe you're in the Lansing area, or you're going to head that direction a quick hour from Grand Rapids. Um, the Michigan History Museum is so cool. It is five floors of Michigan history, exactly like it says. Your fourth grader, if you have one or if you had one in the past, they've done that as a field trip. So I say head down there as a family and let your fourth grader or your older kids say, I remember this and I wanna show you what I've, ex I've experienced already. Put that on the list, it's a great museum. Best of all, on Sundays, that one is totally free. And then I just heard that our friends up at Sleeping Bear Sand Dunes are saying, we gotta get in on the spring break fun. So they're hosting, <laughs> guided tours of the sand dunes all next week so you can head up there you can do a little hiking see beautiful lake michigan and you can learn about one of our uh, fabulous landmarks you can learn about the sleeping bear sand dunes so something for everyone but now i want to talk about some of the things if you're here in west michigan you're like we just need some things to do mm -hmm. phil i'm going to give them to you you ready yeah, for right. it yes i'm ready right. craig's cruisers i'm going to start with craig's cruisers because regardless the age of your kids you and your kids are going to have a blast. So they're doing wristbands, $35 a wristband that gets you unlimited fun. We're talking arcades, go-karting, laser tag. If the outdoor activities are open, everything outside. It also includes the pizza pasta ice cream bar. I don't know about you, but three hours at the ice cream bar, now that's my kind of fun. <laughs> um, we also are looking at some things from Air Zoo. If you have not been to Air Zoo in Portage, Michigan, what are you waiting for? This is the one I'm going to recommend. You load up Grandpa and Grandma. You put everybody in the minivan. 
and head to Air Zoo because you can see, look at your kids will be riding on cool amusement rides. They have a massive display of historic aircraft and hands-on fun for everyone. And let's not forget, go Whitecaps. The Whitecaps actually open their season on April 6th, which is Thursday. Tickets are still available. They're home Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And I can't think of a better way to say, come on, spring, go to a baseball game. Uh, so that's another pick. Um, Frederick Murray Gardens. A lot of people are into the butterflies, and the butterflies are absolutely beautiful. Weather permitting, they're going to be opening up that children's garden as well next week. So you can bring the kids there, and for that one price, you will experience the amazing children's garden, and you'll also see the butterfly exhibit, and it's beautiful. And, you know, it's just important to think about what are our kids into right now? What are they going to love? And then what's something new that I can introduce them to? And as you're putting together your plans for spring break, I would encourage you to check out our guide because you can literally scroll through dozens and dozens of things. We have it kind of separated by categories. So if your kids are into art, we've got that art area. If you like to hike, we've got the hiking section. If you want to do a little road trip down to the Detroit area, Auburn Hills, my favorite recommendation, Great Lakes Crossing. They are home to Sea Life Michigan. It's the largest aquarium in the state. It's in a mall. They have over 2,000 creatures. It's so cool to think you're walking through this amazing place and you're like, wait, I just went shopping over there and now I'm looking at Sea Life. They also have Legoland and Peppa Pig World. So those are hot buttons for kids and you can buy combo tickets to those locations if you go over and make it a whole day trip. So I really want you to just check that list out. You can look at the list. If something looks interesting, we've put it together this year that you can just click where it says here. And you click it and it takes you right to their website with all the information you need. So I want to make it easy for you and no excuses. Let's get out there and let's have fun together as a family. Right. No, and Miranda, one thing I really wanted to kind of touch on, and you've said it a bunch in the promotion and lead up to this guide being released was, you can no longer be bored with something like this. I think that is such a great message because there is still plenty to do. There's no reason to feel like just because you're not going to the beach down in Florida or anything like that, that you can't have fun right here in West Michigan. Do you think that that is sort of the importance of having a guide like this? Absolutely. And, you know, I can say this because my kids are older now, but I would encourage you to set aside time this spring break, whether it's after work or you're taking a few days off yourself, or you're a grandparent, you have your grandkids, um, definitely make some memories together. And we think it's gotta be big and extravagant and all of that, it doesn't. It's just taking your kids somewhere, letting them sort of be in charge of the day and explore and have some fun. Take a few photos and talk about those experiences. Um, that's what your kids are gonna remember. That's what your grandkids are gonna remember. I want you to know places like the Grand Rapids Public Museum, if you are a Kent County resident, and you have anyone 17 or under in your home, you can go there and they'll get in totally free. You'll pay a discounted rate and they're gonna pick up your parking for you. I mean, you can't beat that. So kind of make your list of some things, that, you know, on Monday we're gonna do something that's free. Tuesday we're gonna do something that might cost a little bit. On Wednesday, the kids get to decide. On Thursday, we're gonna head up north. And on Friday, we're gonna go to a place we've never been, but we've talked about it. Put a plan together so that you don't miss this opportunity with your children to make some memories that they truly will hold on to forever. Mm -hmm. No, couldn't have said it better myself. And the best way to make a plan to really take full advantage of that spring break is, of course, to head on over to our website. Check out Miranda's 2023 spring break, spring break guide. Oh, my goodness. Well, <laughs> it's a mouthful sometimes. It is. Yes, no, definitely. Miranda, thank you so much for coming on the live desk today. We really do appreciate it. And really do look forward to continuing to take closer looks at this guide and really promote it and get people out of the house this spring break. Phil, thanks for having me. It's a lot of fun. And now I think we should hit the road and go place someplace cool and explore. What do you think? Yeah, I'm right behind you, Miranda. <laughs> Don't worry. Let me just finish this up real quick. <laughs> and I want to thank everybody else for tuning in to this latest edition of the Wood TV Live Desk. I'm Phil Panarski, and we hope you have a great rest of your day.